The second example is secure HTTP using listen and serve TOS. So this API here is part of Golan's building web server. And this API will be very useful for those who do PA7 and PA8 borrowing from Golan's existing code uh, for the building web server. Okay. Now, let's see if this example will inspire you in terms of changing your PAA so that it will work in a secure way. So this example is called the sec handler response.go. Yeah, so it's a slight extension of the handler response.go in PA8. So if you look into the code, you'll see that, well, in fact, all the lines are the same except for the very last line here. HTTP .listen and serve TOS. Okay. Originally in PAA, it's only HTTP .listen and serve. So that is the API to start the server listening and begin serving files. Now adding the TLS here is essentially indicating the API is extending listen and serve to do secure listen and serve. Okay. So this server process here is going to be sitting on top of TLS and TLS on top of TCP. The slight difference between listen and serve TOS to the original listen and serve is here. So this API now takes in four parameters. Okay, in addition to the port number, the server will be listening. In addition to this nail here indicating that it's using the default serve box, uh, we need two more parameters, which are yeah, the public key and the private key file. Now, to set up the TOS, the keys are required. Now, we may start testing the example. Similarly, uh, we will start the server process first, and then we'll use the command line web browser curl okay, to give it a try. So again, we'll, using, we'll be using curl-k, the k flag, so we can bypass the CA check as uh, Polly does not want to pay the CA for just the assignment purpose. Now, these are some of the comments you can try. So first of all, yeah, in PAA, if you recall, to test the handler response.go, okay, we try doing what? The hello. Yeah, this is a prefix uh, to trigger the hello handler. Okay. Now for all the, all the other prefixes, uh, it should go into the file server, the default file server. The building file server. So sex string response.go should actually what? Uh, get the sex string response.go file, the content in there. And uh, qwerty.htm, which is the file not existing, so that is a random file. Uh, this should give us a file not found. All right. Oh, and by the way, yeah, in addition to the dash k flag, make sure that yeah, you are asking https this protocol to respond okay. uh, before we do the demo let me just go through the code let me just walk through the code because it's very straightforward the only line being different is just here okay listen and serve tos and it is simply the equivalent of listen and serve except that it's doing the tos secure socket okay usage is slightly different which i just explained yeah, and now let's go to the demo. Now here's the demo. So we'll start the server process first. The handler response.go. All right. And we now curl dash k in HTTPS to the local host. Yeah, let's try. How is hello handled this time? There. Okay. HTTPS working and then it gets us the string hello world. Okay. So this is what the hello handler is supposed to do. Let's try to grab an existing file. I think the server test is still in my directory. There. Yeah, we get the content of the server test.html. 
Now let's grab a non-existing file. Let's say blah 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 dot txt and see there. Ooh, page not found. Okay, so this is the response coming from the building web server. Okay, in Golan. Great. Um, what should we do now? Oh, yeah, we could do the TCP dump to see if uh, indeed these HTTP messages being exchanged are encrypted. So let's do the same. Uh, TCP dump dash n not to convert the IP addresses to the name and dash a gives us the entire content in the packet. Dash i is only monitoring the loopback interface l o zero. Okay, and I'm just gonna sniff uh, packets that come from or go to 127.0.0.1 given that the example is right there on the local machine. Okay. Yeah, to run TCP, root access is required. Oops, wrong password. Sorry. There we go. Okay. So now let's uh, try to do the handle. Okay, how about that? Uh, hello, hello, handle. Hello. There. All right, so there are quite a few packets. Okay, but uh, focus on this part of the output and see if we get these HTTP messages. Okay, the plain text being printed. Very good. Mm -hmm. All encrypted. Can't tell what's inside, you see. Can't tell what's inside. Yeah, this is probably, yeah, this is probably the part that uh, the certificate is being exchanged. So you see N T U E E E D U. Yeah, right there. Pao Yi Huang. Yeah, this is the the one the email signing the certificate. Yeah, self signed by Pao. Yi. Yeah, you see a little bit of the information, but it's actually higher level. We do not see uh, the content of the HTTP request or reply message. Yeah, this is where I started the TCP DOM. All right, so good. We did not see okay anything really CUC in plain text okay this time. All right. Yeah, I know. So maybe we go back to PA eight and see if we could see the content right running the handler response.go okay let's see all right good i'm still getting the hello that world so the server is working and you know what right here okay we see the response coming back uh, to the client so yeah this is the server IP address port number coming back to the client yeah you see very clearly yeah the status line there's one header line saying the date another header line saying the content size and uh, the format and then an empty line and then the data and then the ending line okay so Without listen and serve TOS, yeah, we see the messages in plain text. And I guess this is a request indeed. Get slash hello, HTTP slash 1.1. All right, so that's the demo.